Hey folks, Phil D-Man here. I'm trying to get a sense of where my bees are at on an unusually beautiful late fall day. Uh, by now, often we've had snow and are rushing to get the bees in. Instead, we're almost overdressed. Got some yards where I've got hives that are failing. I'm not sure if this is just that I have the opportunity to check and I see disasters that are gonna happen anyway or whether this is a new problem, but I'm going to do some sampling to uh, see where we're at. So we've picked out some weak hives and some strong hives. I'm going to take a sample from three of each, and we'll take those home and shake them and see what we got. So this is a week. And I want to get about a hundred bees. Which is just about an inch on these bottles. So there's hive number one. I'm surprised how much brood there is, but it has been really warm. more brood than that hive should really have. You kind of wonder if they know they're in trouble and trying to grow out of it. So that's about a 300 B sample, half a jar. Okay, so those are my wheat. And now we'll go back and find a few real strong ones. Often have oh, <laughs> I need to jump. We've got a few here that have crapped right out. And that's what's got me a little bit concerned. Then you see one like that, you think you don't have too much to worry about.
Bit of brood in that one still. Okay, now. So we've been at this for a while. We've got quite a few samples taken. We'll go back to the farm and see what we get. Okay, we've got all our samples here and I've done a couple things. One is I have estimated one time a few years ago, I had the guy count out a hundred bees and make a markings on this jar. So I can estimate for each jar how many bees are in it. And then I'm also going to weigh them so that I can maybe over time get a really good sense of how many bees. So I've got estimated for each one of these samples uh, to the nearest hundred how many bees. And then I'm going to weigh, I've already teared my scale. So an empty jar shows zero. And then I will weigh each sample. K1 is 95 grams. K4 is 45 grams, and so on. I'll do that. <clears throat> and then I'm going to fill each of these jars with the windshield washer, which is a soapy alcohol. My guess is this stuff gets sold at different strengths in different parts of the country. Up here in Canada, we get the real thing, uh, down to about minus enough alcohol to keep it unfrozen down to about minus 40. And at minus 40, it doesn't matter between Celsius and Fahrenheit because it's the same damn thing. <clears throat> then I'll shake these for a minute. And I've always been meaning to build a machine to do this, but I haven't figured that out yet. But uh, one of the things that keeps you from doing a job is if it's really hard. So I'm always thinking about how to make a job easy so that you're less likely to procrastinate. Uh, our former Prince Apers always said, you want to shake them until the bees start falling apart. Then you know you got the mites off. Then I'm going to pour the bees through a strainer, then onto a very fine filter and catch the antifreeze in a basin. So there's my sample. And then I'll continue to wash the sample with extra antifreeze and I just recycle this again and again and again. And I'll even swish it around a little bit, make sure that every mite that wants to come off can. And then we see what we got. And I don't see any mites there at all. I'm okay with that. Okay, where's my notes? C1, 
So that was K4. Those that's from Weak Hives. This is K1. These are strong hives from the site, actually the site where I videoed taking the sample. Oh, I need to get rid of these. Well, I've got at least one mite right there. But on, I estimated that at about a 40, 400 B sample. So one mite is pretty acceptable. Anyway, I'll work through all of these and then show you the results. Yeah. Okay. Well, We've shaken our mites. It's like, kind of like panning for gold, except you don't want to find anything, but we did. So uh, to make a long story short, we've got some sites like that one with no mites. Most sites have kind of one or two, but then we've got two sites here with uh, James Valley, the weak hives had only nine mites on a 500B sample, but the strong hives had 67 mites, which is 16 percent. Uh, and then my red barn site, I had uh, 70 mites on a 400B sample, which works out to about 17 and a half percent. That's on the weak hives, and that's a site I've been to a few days ago where I was getting concerned. That's kind of what, that's the site that kind of brought all this on. But the strong hives in that area, in that site, only have a little under 3% infestation. So it's a bit of a mystery. Uh, I'm going to sit on this for a day or two, consider my options. I understand there's a young researcher that wants to find some bees with mites to test a few things. So this might be his shot to uh, to go with that. Uh, and then we're gonna, I think, uh, get busy next week and do some more treating and do some more um, testing. All of these sites have had one round of oxalic. So at the very least, I think what I've learned is I need to do at least another round of that, if not something stronger. Okay, thanks a lot everyone. Have a great day.